Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Undead Unlock episode number 24 reaction and this is the final episode of this season. So the previous episode we got to know more about Unknown's past and uh, his name is I think Akira I think it was Akira wasn't it I think as far as I can remember. Um, his name was Akira and he was a little kid who found the G-Liner and also simultaneously awakened to his negator powers which made him completely um, like nobody could see him or like you know realize he's there I'm guessing his whole existence just got wiped out like that he was there but nobody could perceive him so you know he he then like you know wrote the manga about Andy decided to help them out and you know all that stuff in the backstory we get to see now by like you know watching the previous episode I think that his negator power has something to do with people not perceiving him it's not just he, he cannot be seen or anything like that people cannot perceive him like his existence cannot be perceived that's what i think that is why you know like um when he wrote with a pen name everybody, everybody could read his manga since he's taking a different identity that's what i think at least i feel like today's episode will probably explain it properly so i'm looking you know forward to that and uh, yeah so <laughs> let's see uh, and also we got to see um, Unseen, or we didn't get to see Unseen, <laughs> because he was, you know, invisible. Um, but yeah, we were able to defeat him, uh, and he comes out, immediately takes care of him. And you can see Unknown say that finally I have been able to uh, alter this, like, you know, thing. And to alter this, he had to bring Andy and Foucault together and went, had to make them go through uh, that, like, memory thing that he did. Um, so yeah, it has been successful, Un Unseen is gone, and now, you know, they are going to go for um, Autumn. Also, we did get a little bit backstory about um, Rip as well. He's trying to save someone, and that's why he needs the Ark. So yeah, let's see um, what happens today in this episode, the final episode. So let's begin. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's begin. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, okay. Because obviously he's changed the, uh, like, you know, present. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Damn. Just like that. Face. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Well, we also have gotten stronger, you know? Maybe this time it'll work. Yeah. All right. Repair boost. Okay. Oh, it's regenerating. Great. Tuh. What the hell? Damn. It <laughs> Oh god. Oh lord. Because Latla it will not touch her. From Huh. Okay. One thing. Draw the... 
Well, wait, he can draw artifacts? Like, I know he can draw stuff, but... Oh, wait a minute. So, like I said, I know whatever he draws, it becomes reality. But can he... draw artifacts? Wow. Oh boy. Okay. Is he going to draw using his mouth? Yeah, he can like literally make stuff. Oh, he also realized this is also another. Wait, what? Wait, what's... Oh my god, is that a drawing? What the hell? Wait, so Anun is here somewhere? In the background? That's why people can see him now. Oh my god, what the hell? Good god. Okay. My oh, so it's her sister. Operation Lila. Wait, he was a doctor or something? Like Rip? Oh. What the hell? Wait, is it going to make him bigger? Oh! Wait, is, that's a 15 year old body? Oh no, it increased... Um... Oh! Bro! When you use that... Makes you age 10 times the length! 10 times the length! So 150 years, so he's going to die. Oh my god. Wait, so what will happen to the original body? The original body is still there, I'm guessing. No, okay, so I'm guessing the, the original body will also age it, it's because... Okay, there's still one question I have. So, the original on Anuil, is he here somewhere in the background, just sitting there or something? Because this is the... Her, his drawing. Oh, the G-Liner is gone now. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Oh, his mom, her mom liked it. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. Hmm. Oh God. Yeah, he needs unrepair because it's regenerating. He needs a wound that won't regenerate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow, yeah. Oh, that's the earring that she has he has now. Yeah, we need that. <laughs> but <laughs> restrainer type. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's a good plan. What the? Hey, these little things. The minions or whatever. Oh no, wait, is it like, what the? Oh God, here we go. It's probably gonna transform or something. Yep. Great. Oh wow, it's a... Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> right. It can talk as well. Book <laughs> Okay. Damn! Okay, last lap, come on. Yeah, he was a doctor. Okay. Oh, nice. Ooh, yep. And his wound won't heal. Okay. <laughs> Wow, so we'll win. Okay, nice. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. 
Yep. But yeah, he was. That's why he decided to become a mangaka. Un unknown. Oh yeah, so I I think I was correct. Like unknown means, yeah, like his presence will be like completely. So if he takes a different name. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. Oh my god. His name. <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> unknown. Unknown. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Okay. Alum yeah, because it means it's actually going to happen, whatever he saw. Yep. You realize, like, things... Things... These are going to happen. Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. Just manifestation. Yeah, he made the... He made the... Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, is he still there, that means? The original Akira? Okay. Nice! Yeah, it won't repair now. Price to pay for changing the future. Okay. I see, that's why it crumbled. Makes sense. He cannot make... A... Yeah, he is still there, that means, but... Oh! There's <laughs> a finger. Yeah, because the unlock is gonna hit now? Yes. Oh! Bruh, wait, what happened? What type of unlock was this? Like. Oh, he, he grabbed it. Okay, nice. Yeah. No, he, he was still there. In both senses. Yeah, like, because people remember him, everyone will remember him, and also I think he himself is still there somewhere. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, oh wow, the opening now. Do you from me, it makes sense, do you from me, like he, he, like from him to everyone. Another thing I just realized, um, if you think about it, Fuko's mother was reading the manga, that means Anno In is actually quite old now. That's why now that we're seeing him, he has wrinkles. It makes sense because, you know, like, so I'm guessing he's been writing manga from Fuko's mother's generation. 
So he's at least, um, if he was like a little bit older than uh, uh, Fuko's mother, then he probably would be in his 60s now. Like, I'm guessing... Yeah, like, he's at least... 50... 40 to 45 years older than Fuko. Something like that. It, it makes sense, because he has been doing this for a while. And the aging process that happened, it only happened to the picture that he draw, drew of him. The unknown. It only happened to that. But his original age is still, you know, like, still now. So he'll just, he'll just be there now. Like, just there, without nobody being able to perceive him. But obviously, as he says, everyone remembers him, so he's not dead. And everyone knows that he's there somewhere. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. And we have the core with us, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, six, because unknown is also... No, he, he's not going to. I don't think he'll... Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry for hitting you. Yeah. 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 G liner. Well, he was unknown. I just realized his name is like unknown and unknown. Self-target compulsory type. Hmm. Fuko. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Only ten years. Yep. Compared to what Andy went through. Autumn arc end. That is it, I think. Oh, oh, what is this? Season 2 teaser, maybe? Hopefully. What the? Wait, what? What? Wait, is, was that like a flashback or was it actually happening? <clears> hmm. <throat>
Hmm, and there you go. That is it, I think. Is there anything else? No, that is it. Yeah, okay, you know what? First things first, uh, let me see if there's been an announcement. I don't think there has been. Um, for, for season 2. Hopefully, if, even if we don't get an announcement, hopefully we get that soon. Um, nope. No announcement. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, but, you know, let's, let's wait. Let's wait and see. Um, I don't know how popular this was. It seems a lot of people liked it, but I'm not exactly sure about the popularity of this show. Um, if it was popular, I'm sure we'll get a second season. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, you know, David Production is doing it. Hopefully David Production continues doing it. And uh, yeah, you know, like everything should be good then. I really want this show to continue because it's just such a good show. And uh, yeah, I just, it's, it's, it's very unique. I've, I've never seen a show like this before, which has like, which balances like uh, the shonen elements and like the mystery pretty well and in such an interesting way. Um, it's, it's just, you know, like th this has like everything and I'm so glad. And that is why I'm, I'm hoping for it to continue. And I'm, I'm sure it will. It'll probably take a while for the announcement, but yeah, I'm sure it will get, and I hope, hope that it gets a second season. And if it gets a second season, I think it'll continue. So I, I want this show to keep continuing. And that's why I'm saying like, and I'm not sure how popular this was. If it was quite popular, then it's guaranteed we're going to get another season. So let's just hope for the best. Either way, um, that was today's episode. So a lot of things we got to know here. Two very important things. Um, first of all, unknown un. <laughs> now that I'm telling, like you know, like like pronouncing his name, I'm just realizing how obvious it was unknown un. But I I was like you know like since everything starts with U N, since Arno starts with A N N O, I never thought of it like that. You know, I always took it like A N N O U N. You know, unknown. Un. I never thought of like the pronunciation, like unknown. So I never really like it. Never came to me unless and until they spelled it out for uh, like you know in today's episode, because I was always like looking at it as A N N O. That's why it never came to me. And yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, it's unknown. So I'm guessing I was correct. Then his like whole, like his whole thing, his whole identity and everything becomes unknown. And that is why, you know, nobody can perceive him or see him. And since he has used his, um, like, he, since he sketched his own, like, you know, like, character, like, the, uh, the unknown, unknown that we saw, since he has sketched it, um, since that sketch is doing the, uh, like, you know, manga, I'm guessing that is why people can perceive the manga, because it's not really unknown sketching the manga, but it's something, someone else. I think that's what's happening, or maybe uh, something like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's now like pretty obvious why people weren't able to see him and why everyone can see him now because it's not him that people were seeing; it's the picture that he draw drew. So that is why when he went and met Andy back, uh, you know, in the previous episode, they couldn't see him. But now, like this person, this unknown, this picture, the blonde-haired one, everyone can see. You know what my theory was? My theory was that he like dyed his hair and everything. I, I think I said this in the previous episode. I think I, I said like he dyed his hair and took a completely different identity as unknown. That's why people could see him. It's technically, it's exactly not that, but it's kind of similar to that. He actually made someone like, you know, in reality and that, that thing or that person. But like I'm thinking, um, how did the the person that he made like unknown how did that sketch have a personality similar to him i'm guessing he probably thought that oh i'm making my alter you know self and since he thought about that like you know sketching it while she thought maybe that's why she was able to make it and and that that person actually had like a personality similar to him because that's one thing that i'm thinking I'm, i feel like i'm going in deep into technicalities but I'm just thinking, like, how did he make the personality? Like, how did that sketch that he make have his personality? Is it because he sketched it thinking that, oh, this would be like 
my uh, altered self. Maybe that is why it also got his personality. I'm guessing something like that. Either way, like, like I said, I'm going into deep technicalities. I don't think we need to think so much about it. It's just that he made a sketch and it was him. And that is why everyone can see him now. And yeah. So yeah, it means that that actually means that he's not really dead, but he, he cannot be perceived by anyone because G-Liner has broken. He cannot make another, you know, like sketch like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's over. Nobody can see him. Nobody can perceive him. He'll just be there sitting and seeing and, and like, you know, overseeing everything and not being, would not be able to interact with anything or anyone. Yeah. So something like that. I doubt he can draw manga anymore because his G liner is gone. And I think like okay, so I'm I think I said in the previous episode the reason why he could um probably sketch manga and people could read it is because he took a different identity. I think that's not exactly the case. It's probably because he used the G liner to sketch, wasn't it? That's why it, it could be seen by others. But now I don't think anything will happen. He probably cannot even touch anything. It'll just go through him. So if he tries to take up a pen, it, it won't work. Um, unlike the artifact G-Liner, which he has been using to make manga and make people know about him. Uh, that won't be possible. But it does give me hope, the fact that they, the, they kept the G-Liner with them, even though it's broken. Like, it gives me hope that maybe in the future they could, like, repair the G-Liner somehow. And, you know, like, maybe he'll get... Uh, the G liner back and he can sketch again and you know um, he can make unknown back again like you know maybe um, like a person or a negator who has something that can like some kind of a power that can fix an artifact or something I don't know you know something like that maybe the fact that they kept the G liner makes me think that it might go in that direction like there's a future possibility of that um and, and and here another thing like i said correct me if i'm wrong Anoun is at least in his 60s now isn't he because like we saw like fuko's mother used to read the manga so that means he has been sketching manga from okay here's the thing he has been sketching manga from when he was if i remember in the previous episode he was at least um how old was he when he started sketching manga at least I'm, I'm i'm guessing like 18 or 19 when he started sketching manga so he started writing for to you from me and that was the name i think for the manga from then so i'm guessing if fuko's mother used to read the manga and if she has been reading it from the very beginning that would mean F fuko's like when the manga started, it was, I'm, I'm just taking a like rough guess, uh, Anoun was at least 19 years old. And Fuko's mother, um, I'm guessing at that point, when he read, she read the manga, I'm guessing Fuko's mother was at least like 24 or 25. Um, so that means, uh, no, that wouldn't make sense because, no, Fuko's mother needs to be younger than Anno-un because Anno-un, like looking at his wrinkles, he's at least 55 to 60. He doesn't have that much wrinkles, but he does have a little bit wrinkles. I saw that. So he's at least 55 to 60. So if he's 55 to 60 now, Fuko is how, how much old now? Like, I don't know, like 20 or something? I'm not really sure how old she is. If Fuko's 20, then I'm guessing his mother should at least be 42 or 43, if she was alive now. And if Fuko's mother was 42 or 43, um, and if unknown now, looking at him now, I'm just making a guess, he's like 55 or 60 now, that would mean Fuko's mother, like unknown is older than Fuko's mother by like 10 or 20 years. Okay, so my guess is Anno Un when she started drawing the manga, like Fuko's mother was probably very young, like four or five years old. I think so. I don't know. This is all like a like a mental like calculation that I mean I might be completely wrong. But I think Anno's current age is or not unknown, sorry, why I'm calling her unknown. Akira. Akira's current age is 
55 to 60. Um, and he started drawing manga at when he was like 19 to 20 years old. At that point of time, Fuko's mother was like five years old, I think. And then Fuko's mother, you know, like became older and she started reading the manga and then she had Fuko. And now Fuko's reading the manga and, uh, you know, like, and Fuko's at least like 19 to 20 years old now, or maybe even older than that. So something like that is happening, I feel like. So yeah, like I said, it's just a guess. I'm just making a mental, like, you know, like a, <laughs> yeah, graph in my head. Because let me go to the final scene. I am pretty sure I saw wrinkles in his hand. Yeah, here we go. When he does the fist bump, you can see he doesn't have that much wrinkles, but he does have a few. You know, so I'm, I'm just guessing he's 55 to 60 now. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Um, and yeah, he actually has been doing this for a while, if you think about it. And it makes sense, like, how many volumes does to you and me, to you, uh, you from me have? Like, how many did he say? Like, like a, like a hundred volumes or something? Like, I think I made a calculation in one of the previous episodes. Like, do you from me is at least as big as One Piece. <laughs> so, just think about it. One Piece has been ongoing from when? Like, 1994 uh, or 5 or something, I'm guessing, maybe like you know in that time so like 20 to 24 years one piece has been ongoing i'm pretty sure this like manga has been ongoing for that long you know for that many years so <laughs> so yeah i'm pretty sure i'm correct in my calculations he is at least 55 now and he has been drawing manga from like 20 years or something so it's, it's been a while he has been drawing manga like at least 30 years he's been drawing manga um, or more than that um <laughs> right i don't know it's just a guess. You know, I might be completely wrong. Either way, uh, yeah, that's that. Now, the other thing that we got to see in today's episode. Um, Rip and... Uh, Rip's story. Rip's backstory. Um, Latla's sister... Uh, I think they mentioned her, her name. I forgot. Latla's sister, he was her doctor. And something happened. He did an operation... Oh, oh my god, I just realized. Is it because of his power? His unrepaired power that when he... Oh, I just... Now, here's, here's the thing. I might be completely wrong. It's just a complete guess. But what I'm guessing happened is that since, you know, she... No, but uh, Latla said something different. Okay, what I was thinking is like, since she's a, he's a doctor, he said he operated on her. But what I thought was like maybe he gained his negator power when he was operating in the middle of operating. And if he gained his negator power when he was operating, any wound that he'll make is not going to get repaired. So, you know, obviously when you're operating, you have to make cuts and everything. So when he did that, it probably never um, repaired and she bled out to death or something, I'm, I'm thinking. Maybe. Like, I'm not really sure, but he blames himself. That's why I'm thinking maybe that's what happened. Wait, wait, let me go back to that part. If, if I can find it, where is that section? Where we see them talking about Latla's sister. And Latla, like, you know, kind of saying that, oh, it's my fault because I... Where is that? Okay, here we go. I found it. This rip, okay, the person I wanted to tell mom about the most. Here we go, here's the part where we're there in front of the grave. Here we go, she says I killed her. Okay, you can see his eyes are bleeding, it's continuously bleeding. Oh, so, ah, okay, I feel like I know the reason why his eyes bleeding. Maybe he, I don't know, he, he harmed himself or something. And since he, he's unrepaired, it has never been able to heal up. That's why he always keeps it under an eye patch. And it sometimes starts bleeding out because it can never be healed. But then, wait a minute. If it keeps bleeding out, how is he keeping this? Like, wouldn't his blood supply go low and he's going to die from anemia or something? I don't know. Is, is that supposed to happen? How, how is he able to keep himself... Now, it's just a guess. I just guess that maybe he... he, he harmed himself and that's why it keeps bleeding maybe that's not the case maybe something else is happening okay so he says i killed her and latla says like 
No, I killed my little sister. Okay, where is that part? I think that comes after this. If I hadn't told that fortune. No, I did the operation. Yeah, okay, I think I'm correct in assuming. He did the operation and his, un, his negator power appeared then. So since he's on the middle of the operation, you know, he didn't realize. He, he probably like, like made a little cut to like, you know, do the operation. And it kept bleeding out. And he wasn't able to like patch it up. It kept bleeding out and she died of, you know, something like that. Maybe. Also, the reason why Latla is blaming herself is, as he says, I told her the, op the fortune. So I'm guessing Latla made some kind of a fortune like, oh, you'll be fine. The operation will be a success. But as you know, her fortune telling always goes the opposite. That's why she's blaming herself. She's like, oh, because I gave that fortune, she's not here anymore because I said the operation will be okay. Again, I'm just guessing here. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, that's the most, like, probable thing like because he's blaming himself and he's a doctor that's why i'm thinking and and he has this unrepair power so when he's doing the operation i think it messed it up somehow oh there you go he literally tells it okay if i hadn't cut her there you go yes that's correct lila that's her name and yeah and latla blames herself because she says like you know she she thinks that she because she did the fortune telling he probably said that oh you'll be fine the operation will be a success and this happened, and so she blames herself. Um, okay. Yeah. And that's why he wants the art to go back. Uh, to take it and go back. <sighs> wow. Right. And yeah, that, that, those are the main things about this episode. Another thing is that the way they were able to defeat Autumn is that both of them, both of them were like working together. Andy's like you know power like Andy's attack had the power to slash through but even if it slashes through it's just going to regenerate so he needed a repair unrepairs power as well because it's going to make a wound that won't repair so basically the whole plan was to both of them to attack at the same time Andy's attack is going to make the opening you know it's going to break down the armor but it's going to regenerate so re unrepairs power would help in making another wound on top of it so it doesn't repair that's how you know like like andy's thing is going to cut up a part and re unrepairs attack is going to go and make a bigger wound in, in that part and since his power cannot be repaired his attack it won't be able to repair this is how this was the plan which is a good plan obviously because either of them wouldn't be able to do it alone because unrepairs power probably wouldn't be able to go through it it's so tough while Andy's power, even if it goes through it, it's just going to regenerate. So both of them, both of them were needed here. And even if one of them didn't cooperate, it wouldn't be possible to do this. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And yeah, and it's crazy to see that all of these things are happening because Akira was able to get the pen and he decided to do something about it even when he was suffering so much like like he said that at first he probably didn't properly believe it but then when he got those visions and he had his own problems to take care of where people cannot see him so he became depressed then and just you know like didn't know what to do but when he heard her mom saying that oh like you know hopefully he draws a manga he started drawing manga and he drew, started drawing everything. And when he was a little bit, at least a little bit more settled down, you know, when he actually became unknown and started, you know, like properly like publishing manga. And when he realized that, oh, I can just make a sketch of myself and that person, everyone can see him. He realized that, wait, so now I can, I can help out like Andy and everyone else directly. Because up until then, he did what he could, you know, he started uh, like, you know, adding hints in the manga. So he did what he could. Since people cannot perceive him, that's the only way he could change something. And he knew that he cannot like blatantly like, you know, like do something that's going to tell them the outcome because that's not going to help them grow in any way. It's going to like make their growth even slower. So he started adding little hints to make them properly understand and like 
you know, at least Juice was able to catch up on it. Juice was able to realize, like, something is going on. So, yeah, his thing was successful. But when he realized that he can literally make a sketch of himself and that person would do stuff on behalf of him, he decided to directly get involved. And he decided to actually come in contact with, you know, uh, Foucault and Andy and make them go through this so that they can, um, you know, they can improve. And after they improve, they can, like, prevent Foucault's death at that time. And he was able to do it. You know, right, crazy, absolutely insane, the way he, he did all of that. Hmm. Right, and another thing he said, like, from here on, it's going to be a story that I don't know, or I won't be able to see, or something like that, he said. Um, it makes sense, because from here onwards, he doesn't know the future. Because, you know, he got to know the future when the future was that Fuku was going to die. But now that the future has been prevented, from here onwards, everything will be different completely. He doesn't know what's going to happen. And the g has also been destroyed, so he probably won't get any more visions, I guess. Yeah. So, I still don't understand what the hell was the g for. One of the, like, it has, like, two powers, isn't it? So the first power is basically, um, like, whoever, like, gets it, probably it'll tell them what is going to happen in the future and the past, everything that happened, you know. That's one power, but then there's another power where if you draw something, it's going to become into reality. So, I'm trying to think any connection between those two powers. Like, knowing everything and making something that becomes reality. Huh. Knowing the future and... No, you're sketching something that is the future, or, no, he got to know the future, then he sketched it, okay, right, and, no, I, I cannot find any connection between these two things, like, you know, like, when you draw something, it becomes reality, and the fact that you know what's going to happen, there's no connection between those two, I was trying to, like, you know, find, like, a, like a common point between those two so that I can equate that oh it's actually this power so that's why this also happens this also happens but I'm not really finding a common common like intersection point between these two things like getting to know whatever is going to happen in the past present future and drawing something that's going to become reality these two doesn't have any common point that I can um yeah so I don't know anyways um yeah so there you go that was that and uh, yeah, we were able to defeat Autumn with everyone's help, and, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Rip, yeah, Rip took, um, the Soul Calibur with him, and he gave back the gun and Autumn to them. And he says that, you know, like, when they, when Fuku's like, come with us, he's like, in no way can I do that, because if I go there, I will have to get the Ark. Because in no way is Jews going to give the Ark to us or, you know, let us use it. So then I will have to go and steal it. But, you know, he, he does say that, but, you know, like, I, because of your help, we were able to do this. So thanks for that. Yeah, so I'll go back now. Yeah, so may, maybe there's a, there's a possibility of future cooperation. But he's not going to join us. I also was thinking maybe they're going to join us because, you know, um, it seems like our, like, you know, since we're working together, I thought they were going to come with us. But, like, because they also need um, Autumn. So I was thinking he's going to join us. So we got Autumn and they'll also get Autumn then. But I, I didn't think about it that, yeah, like, Jews. It's like their main goal is arc. It's not autumn. It's arc. So since they won't be able to, if, if they join under, they won't be able to get arc for themselves. So they they won't come with. And and the reason why they're actually uh, you know like working with um, no did I just say under no union. The reason why they won't come to union is because they won't really get arc. But the reason why they're working for under is because as he said, each and every member has a different goal. And since they coincide, that's why we're working together. So Billy doesn't want Ark. 
and all the other members they also probably doesn't want arc so that's why like rip realized that you know what working with them is better because like our wishes won't go inside we can get arc and they can get what they want so that's why he is working with them unlike us if they work with us the the the, the their um, reason will go inside like Jesus is probably not going to hand over arc which is going to go in, like you know go against what rip wants so stuff like that that is why he's working with them um yeah yeah no other reason right and uh, there you go that was today's episode really good episode and yeah hopefully this continues yeah okay yeah and that is it what a what a great show you know like i started this show thinking that oh it's just going to be a normal show you know like oh powers this and that you know you fighting using powers two organizations <laughs> like something like that i thought and like the the part when i realized like wait a minute something is wrong like <laughs> like if something is different about this show is when someone mentioned to me in the comments that oh did you realize that there's no stars in the sky i'm like wait what and then i went back and like you know watched it and i'm like oh yeah there's no stars interesting and i i started feeling like from that point onwards i was like yeah something is going on here like what exactly i'm not really sure and then that episode dropped where they told everything about like the world the god the rules and everything and i was blown away i was like what the hell is this <laughs> this is no ordinary show in show this is something completely different like i wasn't expecting this like i that is why i completely lowered my guard you know i started this show thinking oh it's going to be a show in show you know like yeah <laughs> uh, and it's, it's supposed to be a really good one because i've heard people saying singing a lot of praise of this so i was like yeah it's a good show in show and then i realized like Oh, it is a shonen show, but there's a lot more going on other than normal shonen stuff. <laughs> and yeah, and then from that point onwards, I realized like, yeah, this is something different. This ain't an ordinary shonen show. This is way more than that. And uh, yeah, and and for me, I think I prefer this style. You know, like I like shonen show, but when it is done in moderation along with other stuff, like this is a type of shonen show. which is shown in but at the same time it has a lot of mystery like you know like things and like science fictional elements and a lot of like you know like like things that is going to make you think so i really love this because of that because it does everything in moderation you know it's not just fight 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 and me become strong fight and me become strong not just that there's a lot of other things going on you know and i pretty sure a majority of the people probably aren't accustomed to these type of things especially people who watch like most people who are like big fans of shonen shows and this wouldn't be their cup of tea you know they would just probably think that what the hell we're not getting enough battles that's because that's all what they think i've i've seen a lot of people who thinks like that like who just wants battles every single episode um so yeah like it would probably be not their cup of tea and i think majority of the people are like that especially majority of the people who watch shonen shows so yeah but you know people like me like people like us who wants like different stuff in moderation and don't just want a show to be completely focused around one thing and just rinse repeat that thing people like us will probably really enjoy this and for me at least this is one of the best shows i've seen you know this is definitely one of the best shows it has so much like you know uniqueness to it and yeah i would definitely want this to continue but like i said um people like me are kind of in the rarity and <laughs> i don't know if like it will have enough popularity the anime for it to continue hopefully it has like i said i'm not really sure how popular it is in japan if in japan this is popular then i'm sure it'll get more seasons and i i really hope that's the case because you know it doesn't matter the western community like you know most of the time for anime sequels the western community doesn't really matter if it gets a lot of like um love in japan it gets more seasons and i would definitely want that because i don't think the western community i barely see people talking about this show in the western community of anime you know like so i i doubt it's that much popular in the western community 
But my only hope is like in Japan, if this is popular, then yeah, we're getting a second season. And I would like, I, re- I would really like, you know, hope so. Um, so yeah, let's, let's hope for the best. Um, and if not, you know, we always have the manga, you know, like if I really see that, oh, this is in no way getting a second season, I'll just read the manga, you know, but not now. I'll wait because, you know, if, if you get any um, announcement and stuff, I'll wait because I do want to react to this. But if not, then yeah, I'll just go to the manga then. No, no problem. <laughs> but anyways, so that is it. Um, that was my overall impressions of this episode. I will make a separate video on this later on, talking about everything that I like in this show. If I try to add all of these in this video, it'll get a bit long. So I'm going to stop now. Let me just talk about this episode scene by scene now. So the first part of today's episode, we get to see um, Anno Un... Uh, like there and over there, uh, Andy, Fuko, and Rip and the others, they're going to fight Autumn. Um, Andy attacks, but doesn't work. Like it works, but it just regenerates itself. So it doesn't work at the end of the day. Rip also attacks. It doesn't really do anything. So yeah, he's like, what the hell? Um, the reason why Rip's attack wasn't doing anything because he was small. You know, his his body has shrunk and all of that. And now, now that I think about it, yeah, we still don't know the reason why he became small, you know. I thought they were going to explain that eventually. I'm guessing they will, uh, probably later. I'm not even sure the reason why he became small is because of his power or if because of something else. But, you know, we still don't have the answer to that. I'm guessing next season, maybe, you know. Okay, so, yeah, so he, if he's doing it, he's not working, so they're like, what the hell should we do? Um, so Anno Un is like, I'm going to make the, one of the strongest artifacts, draw one of the strongest artifacts, and we will use that to capture Autumn. Now here's one thing I was thinking, I was like, can he do that? Can he like draw an artifact? Is it going to work like that? But then I realized later on that he's not really drawing an artifact, completely new artifact. He draws something that, do something that actually exists. So that is why it worked, I think. So I think this is another power that is related to him or another, I guess you could say, restriction. He cannot literally make anything and just say that, oh, this thing will do this and it'll just happen. What I was thinking he's going to do is that I was thinking he's going to draw an artifact and it'll be a completely new one, which will have like some new power that he'll designate to it. And I was thinking that is like too OP, like it doesn't, I feel like it's going to be like, how is that even going to work? But no, he, do, he cannot do that. I doubt he can do that. What he can do is probably draw existing stuff, which has existing um, characteristics and capabilities. And he will be able to replicate that. He cannot make something new. So that is why when he drew stuff, like maybe if he draws like, I don't know what, like a little bird if he draws, that bird will probably like become r- real and start flapping its wings and fly away. Because, you know, he drew the bird because the bird exists and that is why it worked like that. So if he tries to draw, I don't know, like some weird monster that never exists in reality, that will not become real because it doesn't exist or it, it's something. Again, I, these are all guesses. I'm not really sure if I'm correct in guessing this. And I think that is also the reason why when he drew himself, even though that person doesn't exist, he drew it based off him. And since he exists, he was able to make sure that his drawing of Anno Un actually has a personality. Because he himself exists and he drew himself. So since he exists, his drawing that he made also got his own personality. Just like how he drew the artifact that already exists and the artifact that he ended up making has the same properties as the original one. Similar to that, he drew himself. And see, since he himself exists, his drawing also got his personality or his properties in that sense. So yeah, this is what I think, at least. I might be wrong, but I'll go with this for now. This is what I'll, you know, I'll go with as an explanation. So yeah, he, he, he's like, I'm going to draw an artifact that's going to help you guys to capture it. So, but you guys have to work together. <laughs> I love how Rip is like, Oh, Latla, um, will he be able to do this? And she's like, ah, no, obviously not. It's impossible. <laughs> and the bunny was like, oh, that means a... 
<laughs> that means he uh, you know like he will succeed um like big sis is um fortune telling always is always wrong <laughs> okay you know what's funny i remember when i first saw latla i thought that was his power her power <laughs> like making like you know saying fortune like you know like um determining someone's fortune and the opposite is going to happen i thought that was her power <laughs> i think i talked about that in that episode as well but no her power is basically things cannot touch her or something like that we still don't know what her negator power's name is but obviously i'm pretty sure it has something to do with un so i was going to say untouchable but untouchable is the uh, you know like tatiana so it's not untouchable um i don't know anyways i was trying to think but yeah um right yeah never mind uh, either way uh like i was trying to think that since all the characters name has something to do with their power i was trying to think a lot la how how does that connect because if you think about it like obviously it's it's been pretty like like obvious from the very beginning every single character's name is like related to their power juiz is you know like injustice like juiz or something like that um no wait wait juiz is uh injustice um like andy is andy or undead Andy or Andy Fuko is Foon Foon means in Japanese I think it means bad luck Foon so that's why Fuko um who else do we know Top is un uh un unstoppable that's why Top who else do we know uh um Tatiana is untouchable Tatiana Tati untouchable that's why tati i don't know um so yeah it, it has like an obviously unknown is unknown <laughs> um right so that's why i was trying to think latla does it uh, latla okay never I, i you know what yeah i'm just going to move on <laughs> okay right so next we get to see that scene where Anoon we get to see how he was drawing stuff and he drew like a little um car like wait wait a minute he drew it in no he i was thinking that he, so he doesn't draw it like okay so when he uses g liner to draw on the paper it just remains on paper if he uses it to draw in like mid air then that becomes reality i think like i was thinking like when he draws manga wouldn't that all become like you know like actual things but no since he's drawing it on paper i think that doesn't happen so when he draws something on mid air it becomes reality so he drew like like cars and stuff and then he realized like wait a minute it becomes reality okay so unknown oh so he was thinking to introduce himself in the story like you know sometimes mangakas do that they introduce themselves as a character in the story so he he already had like a like a picture of him his his pers- him his, who is going to introduce in the manga called unknown or uh, like you know like like jersey hair tie all that stuff he had so he's like oh let me just do that on in reality and and that's why people were just surprise like this is one lady and they were like what the hell where did he pop up from <laughs> yeah and from there onwards yeah okay but it was too late when he realized that his mother already passed away yeah that's sad like that oh my god yeah and then you know like then he talks about and you know it took me a while to understand like when he where is that part no i understood here that he he drew himself that i understood it took me a while to understand his name unknown and unknown when he said that
Yeah, and he talks about all the characters that he loves, like Andy, Fuko, and the one who wanted uh, his mother to, like, you know, watch or read, like, you know, the character that he wanted his mother to know, Rip. And, uh, yeah, he wanted to tell about him. And here we get to see Rip's backstory, where Rip said, like, if I, wouldn't, if I didn't operate on her, this wouldn't have happened. And, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm correct in assuming, since he was a doctor, his negative ability activated and he the the operation failed because it couldn't be healed while Latla blames herself because he probably she probably said something like oh you'll be fine or something like that and it became the reverse mm. uh, oh I'm just thinking uh, no I was going to say maybe her power is has also something to do with that where things get repelled from her, like the opposite happens of what's ha supposed to happen. You know, since whatever she says, the opposite happens. Like, whatever's supposed to happen, like something attacking them, the opposite happens. That's why it gets repelled. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. And he talks about how like, a Rip is a very nice person, like a very cool and very, you know, like a nice person, but his past and everything is making him suppress it and he's like okay like i'm gonna make the artifact so he makes the artifact and he says rip 15 years so okay here's the thing so that means the 15 years is the years that got added to rip so it's not that he's 15 years now but his age that he is currently at now probably like seven or eight he was and 15 got added to it so he was like 25 or something when this artifact worked on him. Um, because that is not a 15 year old's body with that much abs and muscles. In no way. <laughs> this ain't Jojo. <laughs> so yeah, 15 years got added to his um, age, I'm guessing. So that's what happened. And he realized, Rip repair, realized like, wait a minute, isn't this that artifact? The one, okay, the artifact that Feng used to heal me. Oh, this is how he was healed. I, I didn't reread this part properly when I was reacting. This is how he was healed. The time control artifact. But, okay, he says that he drew it and used it. Um, when you use that, makes you age 10 times the length of time you manipulate. Oh, so... Uh, Makes you age 10 times the length of time you man. Wait, so when Fang used it, has he also become old? Like 10 times because he probably used the artifact to reduce his time and make him a young kid. And that is why the amount of time he reduced, which is 15 years or something, or maybe lesser than that. Wouldn't he also age 10 times than that? Or does it work the opposite? Because he reversed time. He didn't add it, but reverse. Right, we don't have enough information to understand what happened to Feng. But Feng used it, so I'm guessing something happened to him as well. Um, yeah, it, it makes you age 10 times the length. It's not plus 10, it's multiplied by 10. So it makes it even worse. So he goes there and he, so he basically aged 150 years or the drawing of Anno Un that he made. And uh, yeah, and he says like, don't worry, I'm just going to go back to being alone again, you know. And another thing I just realized, I forgot to mention this. The reason why G-Liner broke is because he changed the future. Like, I'm guessing it wasn't supposed to happen. And that's why G-Liner broke, because G-Liner's only work was to tell the people about the future, not changes it. So since he probably did something that should never happen, it broke G-Liner, you know, like something like that. That's what happened. Okay, so yeah, he says uh, all, all that will happen is just I'm going to become alone again. Don't worry. And he's like, best of luck. I'm glad I got to meet you, my cast of cool heroes. And he just, you know, disappears. The Soul Calibur is left there. And there you go.
GLiner also broke because he changed the future. And while all of this is happening, Fuko remembers his her past about how like people used to come and blame her about stuff that happened. His grandfather was like, don't worry about it, it's not your fault. And Fuko sees from you to from me to you the manga in, in the altar. And she's like, Oh, what is this? And her grandpa's like, Oh, your mother loved it. If you want, you can read it. And she started reading it and it kept her alive. And as he says that she loved it and she just kept herself alive because she wanted to read the ending of it. And that's why when the manga ended, he, she decided to jump um, that day in Shinjuku Station. Um, right. Yeah, and so that, like, you know, obviously that means that um, Akira was the one who was able to keep Fuko alive. If he never drew the manga, she that wouldn't happen and then she are and and andy wouldn't have met so something like that right it's crazy to see that the the character that you never knew about has been doing so many things in the background which we even us audience also knew nothing about and now everything is getting revealed and how how his the stuff that he did is so much interconnected with everything else that is happening and how his influence changed so many things that would have happened. He's the literal reason why, like, Fuko is alive now. Like, from the very beginning. Like, not, not this, this whole thing of them going to the training arc, not that. Yeah, that's obviously one of, like, you know, like, one thing. But even before that, her, his manga has been the one that, is keep, that was keeping her alive. And her manga was, his manga was the reason why he, she went to Shinjuku Station and met Andy. And all that stuff. Okay. So Rip, and Rip, uh, Rip has a lot of our questions. He's like, what the hell, who was that person, this and that, he asks. But either way, before that, we have to uh, fight um, Autumn. And when he says like, oh, this doesn't make you, like, you know, like, this doesn't make me in your debt. I'm going to do what I'm going to do, you know, like, I'm not going to be sympathetic towards you because he helped us out. But Fuko is like, okay, so here, like, you know, when the bunny was like, oh, like, Rip is back to normal, but he's so unhappy. Why is that? And Latla says, because he wants to be a villain. Because if he's a hero, he will never be able to reach his destination. Being a hero means giving up on her, which is true, I guess, because, you know, he has to be a villain to do something like this to bring her back. So he cannot be a hero. So yeah, like he has an actual reason for what, why he is doing this and an actual thing that he wants to do. And you can see Latla, not Latla, but La Leila, I think that's her name. Um, Latla's sister. She had these rings, earrings which now rip is wearing and inside the earrings there's blood like, i don't know why but they always zoom in on that ring with blood so i feel like it has the the ring with the blood's earring with the blood has something to do with his ability at least the blood inside we still don't actually know the 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 detailed explanation of his ability we just know it you cannot repair it and that you cannot do something that will repair it like if you don't try to directly repair it, even if something that will make you repair it, like an action that is going to indirectly help in repairing it, you, you cannot do that either. So that's all we know about his power. Other than that, we don't know anything else. You know, what's up with that, that earring? And, and, and here's another thing, like I said, I think his eye is hurt and he hurt himself. That's why he's not able to heal. If that's so, he sometimes bleeds out and he licks it up, you see. Um, how is he able to survive if it's something that cannot be healed? Like, shouldn't he, like, die of blood loss? But it's just a guess. I'm assuming this based on the fact that I'm thinking that it's something that cannot be repaired. It might be something else, which we still don't know about. Either way, let, let's move on from that. And yeah, okay, so after that, um, Andy's like, okay, so what we do is, like, Latla come here, stand in front of us, 
repel the things um uh, rip uh, you and i will attack together i'll attack first make the the, the part wounded and then you attack which is going to make it unrepairable and uh, you know and then like you know fuko can uh, you know all that unlock stuff we can do so that was like the main goal and 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 the bunny's main goal will be to go and capture the core so he like gives all the orders and yeah like and this is the best way we can do it there's no other way we can do it so they decide to cooperate uh, autumn becomes phase two and now autumn can talk um yeah <laughs> And they start their battle. There you go. <laughs> you can see here when Latla's like, when, when they're like, oh, she's like, oh, Latla, like, will we win or will we lose? And she's like, oh, we'll lose, definitely. They're like, okay, we'll win, that means. <laughs> okay, so they start their battle again. And you can see here, Akira starts talking. Akira says that the story started when a little boy who loves manga. Um picked up a mysterious pen that showed him the past and the future yeah and the boy tried to tell his mother of his visions of the past and the future <clears throat> but failed despite his best efforts okay um that was because he became the negator unknown okay i still didn't get it at this point unknown and unknown because it's so different that U N K N O W N that is unknown and his name is Anno A with an A A N N O Anno U N U N when you say it and kind of listen to it you'll realize like unknown or unknown but <laughs> reading it I didn't realize <laughs> so unknown nobody noticed him he was all alone but he never gave up on his life partly because of his mother's desire for him to stay alive and obviously draw manga and because of what he saw that day his heroes fighting while facing their bitter past okay one day the boy realized that what he drew was as the author unknown could be shared with the world this is where i realized his name and unknown 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 <laughs> this is where i realized and i'm like god damn it it was just so easy to realize what it was but because of the spelling it starts with a i never realized it <laughs> hmm. and then and it wasn't long before he realized something else Okay, so then the heroes he saw that day actually existed in real life. And that is where he decided to, yeah. The fact alarmed the boy. Okay, because in the vision of his future, Kuko was killed by Unseen and this world met its end. Yeah. He had to change the future. The boy's mind was set. The heroes instilled him the courage that he needed. He would risk his life and limb in order to repay them. And that's why he made another version of himself called Anno Un. As a result, the assassination was foiled. And the end, Fuko became stronger. Rip returned to normal. Preparations were set to defeat Autumn. Yeah, and he, since like G Liner is gone, he won't be able to draw another double. It's because he changed the future. That is why it be broke. However, the body boy had no regrets. For yeah, like they'll always like he'll never die as long as they remember him. The boy could be never seen again. Again, was he dead? No. Even if no one could actually see him, as long as people remembered him. And yeah, this is the tale of one hero who guided a cast of heroes. Yeah. Unknown. The title of the tale being To Me From You. Uh, sorry, to, to You From Me. <laughs> yeah. 
And you know what's interesting? Okay, wait a minute. The title of the tale being to you from me. Okay. You know how he says this is a story of a hero leading another group of heroes? That is called to, to you from me. So this story has ended. Now it will start the story, I'm guessing, of undead unluck. Like up until now, as he says, this was the story of to you from me. And he was the main protagonist who got all of this and who led the other group of heroes to this end. And now that he has done his job, you know, he's going to, you know, like he won't be able to be seen again. Like, yeah, it's over. It's, it's a story that he knows nothing about from here onwards. So this story has ended. In this story, he was the main protagonist and this was what happened. From here onwards, whichever story is going to happen, it'll probably be the story of Fuko and Andy. And, you know, which will be under unlock or something like that. Yeah, that's, I, I guess that's what it is. Because it is true. Like, if you think about it, it was him who did everything. That, you know, like, we never knew that he was behind all of this. And in that sense, yeah, he is the main protagonist. He's the one who was the reason behind everything happening. Like, everything centered around him. The only difference is that we never knew that. You know, we were under the impression that, oh, this is Andy and Foucault's story. It was, but before that, it was a story of uh, Akira. And the interesting thing is that we never knew about it. In a way, we did know about it because we've always been hearing his voice from the very beginning. He's the literal narrator of this show. show. Like, he has been with us from the very beginning. He has been telling us the story. And in that sense, he was there from the very beginning. We just didn't know about it. You know, he, he has been narrating everything. And now we know that, yeah, he, he was like the main person here who was leading all of these. And now his story has come to an end. So, something like that. That is absolutely insane. Like, just can we even imagine something like this where... Like a main character is a character who you don't even know is the main character. And you think someone else is the main character. And then, you know, like you go along with that. And then you realize finally that, wait a minute. Like this guy was the main person. We didn't even know about it. We did get hints about it, but we never knew about it from the beginning. He was just, he was unseen. He couldn't be seen. And... Like, then we get to know that he's actually the one who's been narrating everything. So yeah, he was there with us from the very beginning. We just didn't realize it. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. Yeah, this is some, you know, there's some, like, some fourth, fourth wall breaking stuff going on. Some meta stuff happening. And yeah, I'm, 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 I, I love it. It's, it's very unique. <laughs> right. Like, I just want, like, I'm sure it'll happen someday. Like, I just want a story in the future where the anime characters will literally know that you're watching them. <laughs> like, a few shows do that, like, especially Gintama and stuff, where the characters know that they're, like, anime characters or something. <laughs> but not in that sense. Like, I want, like, a blatant, like, an anime where they'll actually know, like, in the first episode, they'll literally, like, talk to you, like, looking at the screen. That'll be very creepy and weird, but it'll be so interesting, I feel like. Kind of like, um, like Doki Doki Literature Club, the game. The game, but in an anime form. I would, I would love to see something like that. Like, <laughs> like, imagine a show where the character literally talks to you in the very first episode. They're like, oh no, I know, you're looking, are you watching us, you know? Like, I know that, you know? Something like that, <laughs> the character starts saying, and it'll be a story based on that. Oh, that'll be so cool. But yeah, <laughs> oh god. Anyways, um, I went on a tangent. Either way, um, that is it. And he cannot be seen from here onwards, but obviously he'll be in everyone's memory, so he won't die. He'll be there forever. And after that, we get to see, after that, we get the opening, and then we get to see Repair come and ask them, like, what the hell is going on? And, uh, you know, he then tells that the fact that I work with you doesn't mean that, you know, like, I'll cooperate with you from here onwards as well. Helping you doesn't mean that I'll join Union. Like if, I, if we join Union, I'm pretty sure Jews won't let me uh, give me Ark or let me use it. So that is why I am with Under, because for Under, 
everyone's goal is different and my, our goal doesn't coincide with any other's goal so we can get what we want but if we walk with you guys we won't get what we want so yeah but then he also says but it was you were guys were the reason why you know like this happened we could do it so yeah as a thanks like i will just retrieve soul caliber and that's it you can keep the other so he gave back the gun and he also gave back uh, gave like autumn to them as well and they do ask like you know like like they're like wouldn't you know billy be mad or you know wouldn't they be mad at you guys because you weren't able to retrieve autumn and it's like oh it's fine they'll probably be mad at me because we weren't able to keep unseen safe like he, he died but other than that i don't think anything's going to happen um <laughs> i love how bunny was like i'm sorry for stealing your gun Fuku's like, I'm sorry for hitting you. Yeah, and they also give back G-Liner as well, just in case they're able to help, like, repair it in the future. Um, yeah, and there you go, they say goodbye. <laughs> I love how Bunny calls Fuko Puko. <laughs> Fuko. <laughs> oh, right, um... And there you go, and Fuko then gets like all the like you know like the like all the like development that she went through, all the one year that she went through in the not one year, five years was it? No, ten years. It was ten years, wasn't it? In in the in the memory, something like that. He went through. She went through all like just hit her in her original body, and she just collapsed. But yeah, Andy was there, and uh, there you go. And that is it. The end. Hopefully, not the end, the end, but you know, hopefully this continues. But for this season, that's the end. Oh, the final scene. What was that? Um, Jewish. Um, where, where is that part? Where did we see that? Like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where was that? It was the after the after credits, was it? No, no, wait, when did we see that? No, not the after credits, but before the after credits, sorry, before the credits. Um, yeah, Jui's is in a cold, very cold place. Billy is there. Yeah, Billy is there drinking coffee or something, and Jui's is there. She's like, have you have, do you have black tea? So, okay. I'm guessing that's happening in the present. I doubt that's happening in the past or any type of flashback. Um, okay, but you know, and that's where it ended. So let's see. I feel like the fact that they like added that little thing in the very end, that little snippet, makes me think that they have plans for season two. So yeah, either way, that was today's episode, the final episode of the season. Really good episode. Um, I might make another video on this talking about everything that I liked of this show. Because if I, it'll become too long if I talk about that in this video. Um, right, so I'm going to end it here. So yeah, I'll, I'll talk about in more details about you know, everything that I liked about this show and other stuff that I just want to share. And yeah, so thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, comment down below. Anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, I'll check them out. And yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you guys in the next anime reaction a new show will obviously be replacing this you know the new spring spring yeah spring 24 2024 shows i already talked about which shows i'm going to react to i'll make a separate post later and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next anime reaction series whatever replaces this so until then goodbye and have a nice day